Hello everyone. Gonna do cabbage rolls today. Uh, this recipe is a take on, um, oh, what was her name? Oh, I can't think of her name. Well, this recipe is a take on Jenny, Jenny Can Cook's recipe, except I made it with impossible meat and rice and onion and celery, garlic, and I made my own sausage with the impossible meat. So it's half and half, half regular impossible meat with half uh, sausage flavor meat. It'll be very tasty. But anyway, so on we go. What do you think of my girls? Princess Diana and the Barbies. All right. So there's my meat mixture. I've prepared it a little bit ago. And uh, she's all mixed up now. She's been chilling in the meantime. I parboiled the cabbage. Um, may have overcooked this a little bit, but you want your leaves pliable where you can roll your mixture inside of it. So that it should maybe not look quite as cooked as this, but it's going to be fine. I've got to bake this for almost two hours to cook all the ingredients. So, all right, you're going to get to watch as I roll them up. Yes, you will. So here we go. Here we go. Maybe I'll just start with this one in the back. In the back bag. So there you go. You take a scoop of your mixture. A nice mixture. Like that. Pull a dollop right there in the middle. This is going to expand uh, as it cooks. So kind of wrap it around. Some people take out this bone, you know, the backbone. It's whatever you want to do. What are you, I'm being a little bit lazy. So there you go. You wrap, roll it up. Shove it in the corner. Yep, and on to number two. Number two. We'll do another one. Just like the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got a good view of this. Good view. Okay, take a nice little scoop of the mixture. Heaping big spoon. Heaping big spoon. I love live TV. I can do my very best. Everything's going to be fine. It's all going to be perfect. It's all going to be perfect. It's going to go smoothly. Oh, so smoothly. You won't believe your eyes. No, no. What a simple dish this is. So fun to make. If you like to play with your food. Yes, play with your food. This is one of those dishes. One of those dishes. I was very generous with that one. As you can tell. Uh oh. Very generous. Here we go. Here we go. Now on to number four. Four. There's not a ton of these in here, so this, this is a smaller leaf, so I'm going to use a smaller dollop. Yes, I'm just going to keep going and use it all up. Keep going and use it all up. And if I don't, if I run out of leaves, what I will do, what I can do is just make little meatballs and put it in here. Any excess cabbage can go on the top of the dish, and then you're going to cover it with foil and bake it. 375 for about two hours. About two hours. I got my oven preheating right now. It may only require 350 where you're at, but it should be fine. You want it to have a, you know, the correct internal temperature for your meat because my I put egg in this also for like a meatloaf type of thing for moisture inside the the roll. So we're cooking right along here. Cooking. Cooking. Raw food. Raw food. You want your cabbage to kind of cool off a minute. I took it out of the water and 
I'm going to use part of that cabbage water too. This is going to be topped with a bourguignonese sauce. Oh, I just absolutely adore this. It's a product I found at Outlet Grocery. I'll show it to you. It's so awesome. You like bourguignonese flavor? This is a wonderful sauce. It comes. It's a vegan one. It comes from Italy. Yeah, she's pretty darn authentic. Pretty authentic. Let me show you that real quick. And then I'll come back. I will come back. Where's my bourguignonese? Here she is. That is the bomb. This is excellent day. Product of Italy. I found it at Outlet Grocery for $3.99. Oh my gosh, this is good. It's vegan. All right. I'll come back in a Okay, there they are, the little beauties. I've used all my ingredients and made all these rolls how many we got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen with a little few on top here and then i have some some cabbage left which i'm just going to throw on top of this dish right now right now a little bit let's see what I want to do. I kind of want to put my, let me pour, let's see what I want to do. I think I'm going to pour my bourguignonese on here right now. So we hammer this really cooking in here. I want this to really season up the dish. And then I can lay that on top of that. But yeah, let's do this. We do this. Gosh, this stuff is the bomb. I love this stuff. Got such a nice, rich, hearty, sweeter flavor. Oh my gosh, that's good stuff. Love it. Oops, sorry. Sorry for the noise. Dropping kitchen utensils. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the rest of my cabbage here that I have and just, Max, we don't need you licking that spoon. Come on. Get back. Get back, Max. Get back, Max. I'm just going to lay this on top. I'm not really sure the reasoning behind this, but I don't want any of my cabbage to go to waste because I am a cabbage addict. I love it. All right, now I'm going to cover this with foil. It's going to be covered with foil, and I'm going to bake it. Bake it for a couple hours. A couple hours. Yes, I am. And I'll show you. In a oh, yes, I nearly forgetting. You want to add uh, some of your cabbage water that you've cooked. Your, um, see that cabbage water right there? I'm going to use that to add additional moisture in here because I have rice that's uncooked and I'm gonna need more moisture in there. Just a day of it. So it's good to have a baking pan under this. So here we go, I'm just gonna put the cabbage water in this um, vegan jar here. It's like three scoops of water at least. Let me see what this looks like. See how much I put in there. So I'm just gonna pour this over. I, I need to have enough moisture in this dish because of the rice that's gonna be cooking. Cooking. So you know what I'm judging for is like halfway up my baking dish here. I want to make sure I got some liquid in here, and then have a baking pan underneath in case this bubbles over. So you don't get your oven all goopy. Let me try here. One more scoop, one more scoop. One more scoop. Oh, yeah, not gone overboard. A bit much, but okay, now I'm going to cover it. 
Okay, there's our covered casserole, and the water came up to like a quarter, well, uh, less than a half an inch from the top of the pan, which I'm kind of worried about, but we will see. I'll bring you. So when this finished cooking, I'll, I'll let you take a look at it. I'm excited. I love this dish. There she is. All those yummy cabbage rolls. There she is. We're going to do a taste test in a second here. Okay, there she is. We're going to give it a taste test. And I'm serving it with sourdough French bread I made. So I cooked this for an hour and a half. That's all I needed to do. So there you go. The rice looks done. I'll let you know. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, Max, stop it. Anyway, I'll um, I'm gonna pin the comment in the comments below. I'm gonna pin the recipe. It's very tasty. Bye bye for now. If you're a good boy, you might get some too. Butter that is that I'm using on the sourdough right there. Max is intrigued. How oh, this is good.